Is there anything tastier than a marshmallow toasted over a campfire? Yeah, a marshmallow without ants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go home, fella. Go on. I'll gush them. Now, don't do that. Ow! Don't do that either. Oh. Every creature has a right to live. Except maybe a mosquito. And besides, around Camp Candy, it's not a good idea to get an ant mad at you. I learned that a while ago, the day I led my campers on a picnic. It's your turn to make the sandwiches, Rick. Ah, oh, bologna. Hmm, good choice. I love bologna. Um, John, maybe you should let us. No, girls, it's Rick's turn. Now, bread, cheese, lettuce, tomato. Hey, Rick, where's the lunch meat? I just gave it to you. Bologna! Yeah, that's what I gave you. What's what you gave me? I gave you a lot of bologna. Aw, oh, that's okay. I forgive you. I'm not apologizing. I handed you the lunch meat. That's bologna! <sighs> I don't care if it was liverwurst. It was your job to make sandwiches. John, let us. No, I'm not going to let you. This is Rick's. Oh, that lettuce. Ew, yuck. Those ants ate our food. <laughs> well, that's what ants are supposed to do on picnics. Gee, I never saw a blue ant before. Cute little guy, though. Look at him. Ah! Ow! Wow! Boy, this hurts. But not as much as that did. Something awful must have scared those animals to make them stampede. Something like that? Unbelievable. Ants! Billions of them, eating everything in sight. Whatever they have in mind for us, it's no picnic. Let's go! Yeah! Let's get out of here! Oh, oh, come yeah. on, Pete, let's go! Move one in front of the other! Come on! Of course, I knew it was important to keep a level head. <laughs> John, that stuff is no good for the environment. What kind of bugs you got, Johnny boy? Ah, uh, big blue ants! Big, big blue ants! They're eating everything, Granny Nut! Sounds like Navy ants. Uh, they're just like Army ants, but they eat better. Every hundred years, they wake up and sweep through here. I was four years old the last time when they stripped everything bare from here to Lake Cachatory. Then... Camp Candy is right in their path. Where's that bug spray? John, I don't think that stuff will stop them. They're spray proof. A clean soldier is a hungry soldier. Now scrub up and chow down. Back to camp, everybody! Run away! Whoa, let's go! John, I know an ecological way to save the camp. All we need is to drop a dime and make a few phone calls. Not now, Robin. I'm stuck for an idea on how to stop those Navy ants. Stuck. That's it! I had a plan to smash the ants' attack. Yeah, we all know how good you are at smashing things. I never smash. Well, maybe once in a while, but that's why I always keep a small amount of glue handy. <laughs>
Now you see, Robin, the ants have to come through this pass. But if they try, this smoke will have the little buggers coughing their heads off. And us, too, if the wind shifts. <laughs> if the wind shifts, Robin, don't look on the dark side of everything. Hey! <laughs> Who put out the lights? <laughs> at the observatory to lend me their telescope lens. I used it like a giant magnifying glass to focus sun rays. Those insect invaders can't cross a hot spot like that. This will teach them to match wits with a human. Admiral, order a retreat! We can't fight a weapon like this! Why, you're nothing but a coward! I hate to be the one to tell you, but the sun won't stay there. What happens when it moves? Well, I... I that is, I, um... I uh, guess the hot spot moves, too. Captain, you're relieved of your command. The rest of you, let's take that lens! <laughs> Those ants were really getting me hot under the collar. In fact, way under the collar. I was determined to throw cold water on their dinner plans. Are you sure you understand what to do, Binky? Sure, John. When you say now, I pull the rope and the water will wash those bugs away. That's right. Now. Not how, or how, or wow. Be sure I'm saying now. Gotcha. John, are we ready for my idea yet? Robin, please, not now! Hey, where are you going? I didn't give the word! Or did I? Anchors away, lad! No wonder they call them Navy Ants. John, we've got to abandon camp. No way. No ant's going to make me try, Uncle. But I am kind of low on ideas on how to stop them. You haven't tried mine yet. We need a biological control. So? So, I took things into my own hands and made those phone calls. Phone calls? For what? What? Anteaters. Idea. So you scared the ants off with anteaters, eh, Johnny boy? Yeah, I thought of that last time. What? Why didn't you tell us? You didn't ask. And so Robin's ecological method stopped the Navy ants. Of course, there was one teensy drawback for Camp Candy. Like what, John? Like how to get rid of all the anteaters. Oh, don't 
I'll do that. Yeah. Come on. Just don't do. It was a fabulous morning at Camp Candy. The air was filled with the sweet sound of birds chirping and the endearing sound of ducks quacking, not to mention the uh, melodic sound of frogs riveting, squirrels chattering, and mosquitoes buzzing. The girls slept like babies, or at least like girls, through these delightful sounds. <laughs> okay, guys, quiet! Muffy the moose. Oh, Muffy, you did. That's just a hat rack, not a boy moose. She's just lonely and looking for a friend. But Muffy's a bit nearsighted. I bet you'll find a boy moose back in the woods, Muffy. So Muffy headed into the woods where the boy moose, or is it mooses, or is it meese, hung out. But a song-like romantic sound made her stop dead in her tracks. Oh, this chicken soup is delicious. Very moist and soupy. Now, if you eat another six or seven gallons, you'll recover from your cold in no time. I'll go make some more now. Oh, thanks, there, Molly. Hey, cut it out, Molly. Ew, yuck! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. I hope John is feeling better. Ah! Get me out of here! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Uh-oh! Muffy must have heard John blowing his nose, and now she thinks he's a moose. Whoa! With campfires and marshmallows for all. Whoa! 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 I have an idea. Let's get Muffy something to eat. Chef Botch, do we have any cabbage? It's for Muffy the Moose to lure her away from John. Fresh, crunchy cabbage. Wonderful for the mooses. Uh, or is it miss? Thanks, Botch. Here, Muffy. Have a fresh, crunchy head of cabbage. They'll do anything for cabbage. Whoa! Next was canoeing. Muffy also made sure she gave us a few tips. Okay, campers, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to operate a canoe with precision. Any sudden movement could tip it over! Whoa! This moose is becoming a hazard to our health! Check it out, Alex. Mating habits of moose. Hmm, I wonder why it isn't mooses or meese. Anyway, look what it says. When one moose wants to discourage another from getting too romantic, it does a special dance telling the pursuer to get lost. Wow, I think we got something here. Hey, what are you doing with the hat rack? Sorry, Vanessa, we need it for a good cause. But my imported linen sun visors are getting all wrinkled. Excellent, John. You look exactly like a moose. Well, maybe almost exactly. I look exactly like a ninny. But I guess it doesn't matter as long as no one else sees me. Oh, boy. Pay no 
new attention to them, John. They'll be as happy as you are to get rid of Muffy. Okay. Now blow your nose. <laughs> to celebrate my breakup with Muffy, Chef Botch prepared a special meal. We will have my delicious salmon mousse with creamy chocolate mousse for dessert. And we will start with muesli. I think Botch's menu might be a big mistake. <laughs> hmm. This table is getting a little wobbly. Remind me to fix it, will you? Guess the dance didn't work, huh, John? Well, maybe Muffy oh, hasn't read your book. Oh, yuck! I was getting pretty discouraged, but Robin had another plan. She, Vanessa, and Alex went off into the woods in search of a more suitable mate for Muffy. Too old. Too young. Too obnoxious. name. Want some cabbage, Biff? Robin. Now I can blow my nose in peace. Oh no! This thing's you're his competition! Enough already! This routine is getting old! Hey, I'm serious! Don't do that! Hey, don't! Don't! Uh, oh! Hey! Uh, I'm warning you! I'm warning you, buddy! You can have Muffy, pal! Look! She's not even my type! Here, John! Here, Biff! Ah. Help! Over here! Help! Here, Biff! Snack time! Organically grown cabbage! charged by a moose, I won't leave home without my cabbage. Hey, Biff, give Muffy another chance. She's a good woman, you know. A little enthusiastic, but good. Oh. 
Yep. Muffy and Biff went off into the sunset, happily chopping their leafy green vegetables. 